How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. I'm Kent and today I'm reviewing a string that I have used in the past before and I really like it. It's one of my favorite strings. In fact, a little while ago I put out a video called My Top 5 Favorite Spin Strings and this string was in it. What string is that? The Technifiber 4S. Let's check it out. So this Technifiber 4S, I'm sure you guys have probably heard of this before. This string used to be called the Black Code 4S, so it's an offshoot of Black Code. Um, by the way, let me know if you guys want me to review Black Code for you guys in the future. I've never used the original Black Code, so I am curious to try it. So let me know if you guys want to see that review. If you do, I will get a set of Black Code to test for you guys. But this, uh, it's simply now just called 4S, and it, this is one of my favorite polyester strings on the market. It's a nice control oriented, very very heavy spin generating string and that's due to this square shaped profile. This 4S comes in one color, the black, but it comes in three gauges, 130, 125 and 120 millimeters and it's about $15 a set so it's not up there with the premium polyesters, but it's also not considered a budget, right in that me uh, middle range. So this Technifiber 4S has the Technifiber Thermocore technology in it, which Technifiber pretty much uses on all of their polyester strings. What that means is that they heat the core, the center of this string, and that does two things. Number one, it actually reduces the friction when the strings are sliding and snapping back on each other and by reducing the friction that increases the durability and the tension maintenance. Second thing, it increases the string's elasticity and flexibility so it gives it a little bit more power and a little bit more comfort. But to be honest, I would not classify 4S as a soft, comfortable string. I think it's still on the stiffer side so just be careful about that. Alright, so I got the 4S strung up in my head uh, Extreme Tour night. And I did it for two reasons. Number one, it's a black string and I think it looks really nice in this black racket. But number two, this is a very heavy spin oriented uh, racket with a lot of spin technology built into it. This is a heavy spin generating string. So spin plus spin. I'm hoping to hit some really high bouncing kick serves with this. Forehands that push my opponents deep. I just really, really looking forward to the spin generation with this setup. So I haven't used the forest in a while, so I'm excited to get it out on the court again in this extreme. So let's get on the court and let's see if the 4S still plays the way I remember. So let's start with the pros of the Technifiber 4S. This is a string I've used in the past and I loved it specifically for one reason, the spin generation. The 4S gets crazy amounts of spin and putting it in my extreme tour made my kick serves virtually unreturnable. If I made contact cleanly and I got good pronation and wrist action, I got the kick serve bouncing so high that my opponents were returning them above their shoulders. Even when watching the playback of my matches, there was a noticeable amount of mid-air movement on my kick serve. I could really feel the strings displacing and snapping back both on serves and my aggressive forehand swings. The 4S feels like it has a lot of string movement. Because it's such a sharp string, the durability might be lacking, but that's way low on my priorities anyway. On my aggressive forehand swings, especially the returns, I felt confident in swinging big because I knew the spin would bring the ball back down inside the baseline. My opponent was commenting that my balls were heavier and were pushing him back. For comparison, I was using a different racket with a different string before switching to the head extreme with the 4S after the first set and my opponent said there was a huge difference in my kick serve and ground stroke rallying. The 4S gave me confidence, which is really the number one thing I look for on my ground strokes. I'm not usually comfortable playing singles or having long rallies from the baseline, so whenever a string helps in this regard, it boosts my confidence and lets me take big risks to take more points. The firm response is also a big factor in the amazing control this string provides from the baseline. For those with sensitive arms, you might want to stay away although I don't think this string is super stiff, but it is firm enough that I feel the ball flattening against the string bed when I take a full swing, especially on my backhand. 
Because I hit my backhand flatter, the approach angle of the racket is straighter, so the ball flattens out and loses some of that kinetic energy. But this is great for powerful hitters who want to generate their own power and want the string to keep those swings from flying long. I'm not a powerful hitter by any means, but I do like to play offensively and swing out. The added control lets me push my opponent around the court by staying on the gas and dictating the flow of the point. At no point do I feel like I need to let up or swing cautiously. Whenever I second guess my swings, that's when I make mistakes and I did not doubt my ground strokes for one second with the 4S. On the serves, I already mentioned the incredible spin that my kick serves got, but my slice and flat serves weren't too shabby either. The thermal core technology gives the string slightly more flexibility than it should. I know I just said the 4S is firm, and it is, but hitting ground strokes and hitting serves feel different. The main reason for this is because on ground strokes, you're returning a shot that your opponent hit, so the momentum of the ball is pushing against your strings more. On a serve, you're hitting a ball that is basically still in the air, so there is less resistance. Therefore, I was able to still generate some decent pace on my flat and slice serves. In fact, besides the kick serve, I found the most success on my slice flat hybrid serve. The edges of the 4S really grip the ball and I can see the ball curving in the air, but it also clears the net with some decent pace and causes problems for my opponents. The slice flat hybrid serve into the body was especially effective. I was also able to get my slice serve on the deuce side to consistently land in the outside corner and this opened up the court for my serve and volley strategy and made winning points in singles a little easier. Speaking of slices, the 4S really grips the ball well on slices and keeps the ball low and skidding. I really felt the edges digging into the ball and caused my slices to really bite. I actually saw the felt flying off the ball on my slices at times. Both offensive and defensive slices felt great, but I personally liked offensive slices better. When I had time to contact the slice in front of my body and really get my arm to push through, I could push the slices deep into the court and they stayed low for my opponents to dig up. My slice returns were a little harder to control at times though. This is where the edges kind of work against the 4S. The sides gripped the ball a bit too well and I pulled the ball down into the net. I just had to make sure to get under the ball and the strings did the rest. For the most part, the tension didn't drop much during this playtest of the 4S. I've noticed this with most Technofiber poly strings, but the 4S feels quite firm at the beginning, then gradually softens up over time. I didn't see a sharp drop, but the 4S did lose tension little by little with every play session. It wasn't noticeable until the third play session though, where I noticed a slightly higher trajectory on my forehands. I strung the 4S and my Extreme 2 are 52 pounds because that's the tension I usually test polys at. But if I were to play with this over a prolonged period, I would string at 54 to maintain that control, firm response, and lower launch angle. And as for the feel, because the 4S is quite firm, I found it difficult to hit drop shot at times, but I did like this racket on volleys and angle shots. The short angle ground strokes were amazing. The 4S's spin brings the ball down inside the corners of the service box and I felt confident going for winners in the front court. The firm feel on volleys meant I could punch through the ball without fear of the ball flying long. Make no mistake, the 4S is not really a volleyer's string. I think this string performs much better from the baseline, I'll get into why a little later. But in terms of consistency and reliability at net, the 4S checks off those boxes. So now let's get into the cons of the Technifiber 4S and I'd like to touch on the aforementioned feel and volley. I wouldn't describe the 4S as a lively string. It's certainly not as dead as some of the strings it emulates such as RPM Blast or Cyclone, but it's nowhere near as crisp as Turbite or even my most recent string playtest the Big Hitter Silver. That being said, the deader feel gives good control on volleys because I feel I could punch the ball and it wouldn't go past the baseline, but I had much less precision when it came to placement volleys, angles, drop shots, and lobs. I couldn't hit volleys deep at my opponent's feet or hit sharp angles for winners. I had to play a more patient game when I was at net because I just had to keep blocking my opponent's shots and force mistakes rather than going for winners myself. This isn't a huge issue for me because my net game is stronger than my baseline game so I don't need too much help at net, but I do still prefer something a little more lively so I have more precision and feel for my high risk placement and feel oriented shots. Secondly, this string is pretty stiff. Although the Thermal Core Tech feels like it gives the 4S a bit more elasticity overall, I would stay away from this if you have any arm issues at all. I don't mind stiffness, in fact I prefer stiffer strings but I'm going to put this in the cons because a lot of people keep asking me for recommendations for soft polys and I would not put the 4S in that category. Next is the durability. This is just speculation but I think the durability of the 4S is not as good as some other shaped strings. 
The edges of the 4S are very sharp and even though stiff strings tend to be more durable, the 4S feels somewhat pliable so I think the crosses will saw into the mains causing the strings to snap. The crosses notch fairly quickly and in an open pattern like the Extreme Tour, the strings will most likely snap quicker than a smoother edged poly. Thankfully the notching didn't seem to affect the tension maintenance. But that's about it when it comes to the cons. The 4S has been one of my favorite spin polys and it still feels good to this day. So who is the Technofiber 4S string for? It's for a player who wants tremendous spin potential and control from the baseline. Obviously you'll need a strong healthy arm to use strings like these but those advanced players are who can unlock the true potential of the 4S. This is a deader feeling string in my opinion, it's definitely geared toward heavy baseline hitters. If you're more of a serve and volleyer or a defensive pusher, this string might not have enough feel, touch or power to assist those playstyles. Personally, I feel like this poly is best in a full bed rather than a hybrid. The edges are very sharp so maybe as a main string with a smooth round poly in the crosses is the only hybrid I would recommend for this. So the Technifiber 4S, have you tried it? After all these years and having tried so many polys, the 4S is still one of my favorite spin polys. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you want me to try the original black code to compare, let me know as well. Thank you for watching this review of the Technifiber 4S string right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.